welcome back to my channel my name is Kiki so today's video is a much requested makeup tutorial video you guys wanted to see how I've changed my look because you guys have noticed on Instagram and you really wanted me to do a video on my Instagram look so here is that video and if you're not following me on Instagram make sure to check me out there I post a ton of content there that I don't have videos for here I'm always posting reels and stories, so make sure you check me out there at Planical Kiki. So the majority of the products I'm going to be showing you guys today are by Pacifica. I have used them for years. They are clean, non-toxic, vegan products. They're super affordable and super high quality. There's one or two other products that I use that are vegan, but they're not Pacifica. So I will be linking everything for you guys in the description box below. I will also link my jewelry because you guys ask about that every time I post a story on Instagram. So I will link my earring cuffs and climbers, all of that, my necklace, it'll be in the description box. Unfortunately, I don't have a link for this top, but I did just find it on the clearance rack at Forever 21. I paid like $5 for it. So if you really like it, you can run over there and check it out. This is what it looks like. It's super cute. It's ruched in the front. And yes, in case you're wondering, all of the furs on my bed are, of course, faux fur. All right, let's get into the makeup. All right, guys. So now for my makeup routines you have noticed that i have changed things up in the last couple months and i have so i'm going to show you exactly what i do to achieve my instagram look so i have a good friend that is a makeup artist and she was helping me with my makeup for the photo shoot for my new website that will hopefully be up in another month or two and she basically had me switch a few things to create a more dramatic look so that it would show up on camera Okay, so the first thing that I always do is moisturize because it's very dry in Colorado and you want to have nice moisturized skin so that your makeup goes on nice and doesn't look dry or weird at all. All right, so I love the vegan collagen line by Pacifica, so I'm going to moisturize with this. And again, I will have everything linked for you guys below. Try to get nice and moisturized. And then I put on sunblock. So you have a couple of options that I really like. So if you like to put on SPF underneath your makeup, which is normally what I do, I like Pacifica's C&C Sheer Face Serum, and it's 55 SPF. I love this. It goes on really light. It doesn't make me break out. So I like to put this on underneath. Now, if you don't like to do that, they also have this awesome set and protect spray. It's a matte sheer setting mist, so you can put on your whole makeup and set it with this spray, and it's 45 SPF. So this is really cool. But today, I'm going to put on some 55 so I just do a little pump. And girls, if you are in your 20s and not wearing sunblock, please wear sunblock. I am 37 and I wish I had been good about wearing sunblock as a teenager and a 20 year old. So wear your sunblock. Okay, so now we're ready to apply foundation. So I am obsessed with Pacifica's All Light line. It's very dewy and glowy. It looks like skin. I love this stuff. It can go on as sheer as you want it to and look like a tinted moisturizer, or you can put it on full coverage, which is what I'm going to show you guys today. So the color I'm using today is in 25WM. I just love how affordable all of their stuff is and that it lasts forever. You really don't need much at all. So this little pump will do my whole face and neck. So on the days I want to have like sheer coverage and want my makeup to look really, really light and natural, then I put it on with my beauty blender. I just wet this and then blend it in and it looks like luscious skin. But for photos, I put it on full coverage. So I'm just using my Sonia Kashuk brush and I think this is actually a contour brush, but I like it for foundation and I find it at Target and her brushes are all vegan. So I like this a lot. All right. So I'm just going to pick it up with my brush and start blending it into my skin. And I just keep blending it in and the brush really helps this go on full coverage. 
but it's still, it's so pretty and dewy and still looks really natural. It doesn't have like this cakey look to it. And I think this foundation is only like $16. I love it. I'm gonna have to like come get it out of my hair after. And then I always go down on my neck because I wear a lot of sunblock on my face and neck. So my face and neck are always darker than the rest of me. All right, and that little pump did my whole face and I actually have, you can do half a pump. This stuff <laughs> lasts forever. They're such good quality. So then after foundation, I move on to concealer and this is in the color 14 NM. And again, everything I'm showing you is by Pacifica. If it's not, I will let you know. So then I just dab it in the corners here and then on the bridge of my nose. And you basically just want to put this everywhere you want to highlight. And I put it on my lips because I use it as a primer. It helps your lipstick stick and last longer and it also makes your lips look fuller. Okay, so I just use my finger because I don't know why. It's just easier. I could use my beauty blender, but. So what you want to do to brighten up your under eye is make this triangle. So that is what I'm doing. I just make this triangle under my eye, across my cheekbone here, and to my nose. And this, when I started being really good about this it really did change my whole makeup look it just looks more bright and youthful and then I just mix that in blend that in and then I do the bridge of my nose because I have a pretty pronounced bump right here in my nose and sometimes the light can catch it weird and make my nose look like it's running off of my face on camera. So my friend taught me to highlight the bridge of my nose just to create some good lines. All right, so then the next thing I do is contour and, and I use the same line of concealer and this is in the color 5WT and I just use this as my contour. Here, I should have put a headband on guys because I am getting makeup in my hair. <laughs> everywhere. So I'm going to use my same foundation brush and then I just work on pressing this in to my skin and then creating this contour around the outside of my face and my cheekbones and chin. And you want to be careful not to bring it too far forward because it can look a little weird. And again, I'm going to link these earrings because you guys ask me every time I do a story on Instagram, you guys ask about my earrings. So I'm going to have it all linked for you guys. There's like a foot of snow outside, so it's really bright. See, look, there's a ton of snow out there. It's so pretty. All right, contour is done. All right, so then I move on to blush and I love Pacifica's like creamy blush in cheeky cherry i don't use powders because again i'm 37 and i feel like powders can kind of like really settle into fine lines and make things look creepy so i really favor creams and gels just because i feel like it helps your skin look hydrated and youthful so then i just take a tiny bit and this is the color I love. I love the Cheeky Cherry color. They have three colors, but this one is my favorite. So if you're not in your 20s, my friend who's a makeup artist taught me to put my blush from here up and go up in a forward motion. Don't put it right here because it can kind of bring your face in. And as we get older, we want things to look pulled back and angular. So remember to add your blush from about here back and go up at an angle. All right, so now I'm gonna do eyes, which is what you guys ask about, and that's what you've noticed, which is significantly different. Okay, so I'm gonna use this little brush by Eco Tools. Use whatever brush you like. I like the little travel pack. I will see if I can find an Amazon link for you guys and put it in there, but 
I really like them. They're really good quality. They're vegan. And this one works really well. Okay, so I am obsessed with the Pink Nudes palette by Pacifica. These colors are perfect, especially if you are more olive tone like I am. All right, so I'm going to get a little closer for you guys. Okay, I'm going to use the color touched here and I am going to put that in my crease here. So I'm just working this into the crease and I'm going to put a little more on just to get it dark because that's the thing guys that I've changed the most is I'm putting my makeup on a lot darker so that it looks more dramatic and shows up on camera. So then I'm just going to take my brush. This is by, this is one of the Sonia Kashuk brushes. You can find them at Target. I think that's the only place I've seen them. I'm just going to kind of blend it in so it's a little softer looking right there. So now I'll do the other side. So really the trick to getting your makeup to show up on camera better is to just put more on, make it darker. But I love this dramatic eye look. And then just blend it in. All right, and then I pick up more of that same color in Touched and I swipe it underneath. See what a big difference that makes? And I'm going to swipe it underneath on this side. Okay, so now one of like the biggest changes that I've incorporated is now I'm wearing eyeliner on the top of my lash line here. And I love this one by Pacifica. It's a marker. This one is really great. I love it. But I did just start doing this and I'm going to show you guys. So I take so I take this angled brush here and I've started picking up the color over here. It's called Rapture and it's kind of like a eggplanty brown color and I have been putting that on my lash line as well. So I'll just kind of go between putting on black eyeliner or using this one. So today I'm going to show you how it looks when I put on this dark color. So I'm just going to pick some up on my brush. All right, let's see if I can do this on camera. So I'm just going to start here and work my way over. Okay, I'm going to have to do this off camera, guys, because I'm not a beauty blogger. I don't have the talent required to be able to do this on camera, so I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, I put it on pretty thick, but it really creates a more dramatic look, and that has been like the biggest change that you guys are seeing. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Now sometimes I put on fake lashes for pictures. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. But for today, I'm just gonna show you guys the mascara that I like from Pacifica. I always put mascara over the lashes too, just to create a super, you know, dramatic eye yet again. So I love to layer mascaras and my two favorite by Pacifica are Stellar Gaze and then this Highest Lash Volume. So I start with the Stellar Gaze. And I just start putting that on. I'll put this on the top and bottom lashes. I won't use the Highest Volume on my lower lashes. I just don't think I need it, but you do what makes you happy. I did notice when I switched to using a natural mascara that my eyelashes stopped shedding as much. So I feel like my eyelashes are happy and healthier. Then I go in with this highest lash volume and it just gives it like extra oomph. And then I'll do the other side. And next time I could show you guys a look with lashes, but I'm actually out. I'll have to put them on off camera anyway because <laughs> I can't put them on on camera. Like you beauty vlogger girls are so talented. I don't know how you do it.
lashes are done and now we move on to lips which is something i'm asked most about is what lipstick i use so um, so unfortunately pacifica does not have like a lipstick line yet they do have like lip glosses and lip tints i'm still like waiting and hoping that they come out with a lipstick line and hopefully a peachy nude because i am all about peachy nudes especially with my olive skin tone if you have an olive skin tone as well a peachy nude is where you want to live so the vegan one i use is by nyx it's only like eight dollars you can find it at walmart target or ulta and it's in the color dainty days and i will link this for you guys as well but it is a wonderful peachy nude look at that it's so pretty so then i am just gonna put that on and i love lip liner but i cannot find my lip liner crayon and the one i use is by is the vegan one by color pop so i will link it for you guys below but i feel like my makeup drawer just swallowed it it should be in there it's in there all the time just <laughs> maybe I need to ask my daughter she likes to play with my makeup not for herself she just likes to color with it so we've had a couple talks about that. You do need to pay attention because not all of their products are vegan. They just have vegan lines and they're starting to bring out more. So this suede line is vegan. Just pay attention. Unfortunately, it's probably not all natural, but it's the color that I love. So here I am. All right, and we are almost done. So for the final touch, I love this Get Lit Liquid Highlighter. I've had this bottle for over a year that lasts forever. I will link it for you guys. I just take a little drop. That was actually a really big drop. It was more than I need. But I pick some up on my finger and then I highlight the top of my cheekbone here. Because I love some highlighter. And then go here. And then I always put a little on my cupid's bow it just photographs really pretty i put some on my chin and i'll put some on my nose as well and then any extra will go on my collarbone and that looks really pretty too i'm like all business up top and then i've got <laughs> my sweatpants on because now I've got all this makeup on and I've got chores to do. I probably gotta go chop wood actually. <laughs> all right and that is it guys. That is how I get my Instagram look. It's really simple. I obviously don't have like real skill when it comes to applying makeup. So I feel like anybody can do this. I love these products. They're super affordable and they stay on all day so yeah i will link all of these products for you guys below along with the colors that i'm using specifically but browse the colors find the ones that are right for you and have fun shopping and let me know if there's any other beauty related tutorials that you would like to see and i can definitely work on that for you guys all right i love you guys and i'll see you next time